Trinity Kufelt was six years old when she got a terrible, persistent pain in her stomach. At first, doctors told her to keep an eye on it. Maybe it was the flu or E. coli. Kids got those illnesses all the time. But after Trinity started having diarrhea and bloody stools every day, sometimes up to 16 times a day, it became apparent that this was no ordinary illness. She wasn't absorbing her food. Her face was sinking in. She had dark circles under her eyes and the excruciating pain wouldn't go away. She was referred to Dr. Jason Soden at Children's Hospital Colorado. He found severe swelling in her intestines and ultimately diagnosed her with Crohn's disease. The way I explain Crohn's disease to children is their immune system is overstimulated and it seems to be attacking their own intestine, which can cause them to have the pain that they have, the diarrhea they have, difficulty growing. Over the last five years, Trinity has undergone several tests and treatments. She has tried steroids, injections, infusions. Most of them helped the Crohn's disease, but the side effects were too severe for Trinity to continue using them. I think the hardest thing is not being able to help them. You know, she's in so much pain all the time and we can't fix her. We can't take away her pain. At age 11, she tried nutritional feeding with little success, and she underwent exploratory surgery that was inconclusive. Every time, a glimmer of hope one day led to unbearable pain the next. Few patients with Crohn's disease have it this bad. Many people have it under control, and some have even gone into remission. But at some point, it is likely that the 1.6 million Americans suffering from inflammatory bowel disease have experienced discomfort and debilitating pain. For those who suffer, simple joys like pizza parties, sleepovers, and family trips become a stressful hunt for the least offending food and the nearest bathroom. It can feel like an endless loop of hope and disappointment where it seems like things never really change. Depression hovers. Researchers have spent years investigating the cause of Crohn's disease. 80 years after it was first described, the answers to this illness remain elusive. There is still no cure. But where there is courage, there is hope. Trinity has an inner strength that not every kid has. She sees a wall in front of her, but she's uh, willing to climb that wall and go through it and get over it so that she'll get better. Some people look at me, like say, I'm in a lot of pain, but they look at me and say, you look perfectly fine. That's because I've lived with pain for a really long time now and I know how to hide it. I want to be strong for other people and show them that I can, I can do this, but I want to be a normal child right now. <laughs> We're getting closer. I see that uh, there is going to be an end to this. I can see that um, the medicines that we're coming up with are more and more potent and much better and with less side effects. And at some point, I think we're going to be seeing a uh, possibility of a cure. You know, I just want to get this cured. I want some way to figure out how, how did we get this? How can we get rid of it? Those are my two main questions I've asked doctors and they, and they say, we don't know right now, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs>